So I run the Race Capture Pro system by Autosport Labs in my Evo 10, and I'm going to kind of show you how I use it and what benefits I get out of the system. So what you see here is installed in this right under the AC controls is this red box, which is the uh, Race Capture Pro unit. Um, what you'll notice coming off of the front is a wire. This one is for GPS. This wire goes to a Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth module allows it to connect to this uh, to my Nexus 7 in dash tablet, and it is able to display a dashboard with sensors and, and gauges. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. And then also up front is a micro SD card and a, um, I believe that's a mini, yeah, a mini USB port, which also connects to the computer for configuration or another dashboard. All right, so I've started up my car now to show you kind of how this Race Capture Pro, how it sends data to the Nexus 7 tablet. And so all of this is all Bluetooth and everything will connect for you automatically. So all you have to do is open the application called Race Capture on your tablet. Um, once you're at the home screen, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna just show you that dashboard application for right now. And you'll see the gauges that I have selected. So I have air fuel ratio, RPM, fuel pressure, boost, oil pressure, coolant, speed, that's GPS speed from the unit, the uh, race capture unit, and oil temperature. You could choose whichever sensors or whatever devices you have configured. Um, clearly, like, I've added a fuel pressure sensor as well as oil pressure and temperature. Um, and then the, the AFR is coming from my AEMX Wi-Fi unit using the analog output on there. Uh, the boost, I actually tapped at the ECU and scaled that sensor myself. The RPM is coming from CAN bus over OBD2 cable, and coolant is also another another cable I tapped at the ECU. I'll talk more about configuration in another video, but um, this is what the, the dash screen looks like. And I'll just kind of show you how you can customize something. So like fuel pressure, for instance, um, if I click, it's a little hard to see through the screen while I'm doing this, but bear with me. Uh, if I hit customize, so I have this set up. So if, if the fuel pressure is between zero and 35, it'll be red. And if, if it's above 85, uh, it's also red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a trigger right now. So I'm gonna set up to 38. So now it's red and, and I keep it pretty simple. Like I just like to operate under reds and yellows. So I think, oh, caution or red, I need, and it's something I need to pay attention to. Um, because I don't really, I don't really pay that much attention to the tablet unless there's a special need. But if I see a color flash, then I'm more liable to look at it. But if it's really important, what I can do is I like this is the Autosport Lab Shift X. It's a three-stage sequential shift light, and using their special pro, like not their special, but using Luau scripting, I can say, oh, if fuel pressure while above certain RPM is this, then trigger like the center stage, which is like red or something. And I can make a flash at different intervals. So um, I think I made another video of uh, kind of how that looks. So I won't dig too deep into it right now. Uh, I'll just show you the rest of the screens on the dashboard. This is a nice view for while you're tracking, it shows you your lap count as well as your predicative or your lapse time in your lap and in purple would be your best lap. Then the next screen is pretty similar. Uh, it's your your lap time count and best and then you can also get sector time on this one. Um, if you notice the three, three uh, readouts on the bottom travel with it from all three screens. So what I, I usually do is I reconfigure this application when I go to the track. So like, I'll give you a for instance, I was at Circuit of the Americas and um, I was running pretty rich. It looked like like 10.9 on, on E85 and I wanted to modify the tune just a little bit. And I don't have time to go run and do a data log or anything like that. So what I did was I put a um, boost here and, or AFR here, boost here. And then I always leave oil temp where it is. So, I mean, cause coolant, like you have a, coolant gauge kind of it doesn't give you the numbers but it'll give you a good enough figure but um boost i also up the boost a little bit because i want a little bit more power so all i did was give myself a little bit more wastegate and uh and then i i 
increase the high octane fuel map just a touch to put myself around 11.2. So when I went down the long straight uh, between turn 11, turn 12 at Circuit of the Americas, I was keeping an eye on those two things. And once I knew they were good, then I didn't have to think about it or worry about it too much. Cause you know, you, you get the full gamut of second gear all the way up to like the middle top end of fifth gear and that, and I just kept an eye on it and everything looked great. So that's the one for instance there. Meanwhile, like I'm getting lap time information while I'm doing that too. So, uh, the last screen is just a readout, a raw readout of every single sensor that's active and you can read your accelerometer numbers and, and, um, other gauges you don't have displayed. So one more, we'll go back to the main screen and that's, that's it for the dashboard.